Good evening friends. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video lecture I am going to discuss about the Wipro coding questions that were asked recently. If you observe the input format in the first line the user enters a single character as input which indicates the name of the product name of the product in the second line the user needs to enter an integer as input and what is the expected output from the above input is the, the output also the user is expecting a single character as output which represents the which represents the new name of the product which represents new name of the product let us have a look on sample test cases this will help you to understand the logic well if you understand the logic just simply apply that logic in any programming language that's it your task is enough so let's have a look on input the first line the user enters d as the character the second line integer is d and the expected output is g what is the relationship between the input and the output if you observe the character the character is d what is the ascii value of d the ascii value of d is 100 then what is the integer integer what we are entering is 3 so by adding 3 to 100 we will get 103 103 so let us find the character according to the value what we are getting after adding the integer to the ascii value of the given input so the ascii value sorry the character according to 103 is d this is the logic behind this and having second input also let us have a look on second input also first character the user enters is capital h the second line user enters 20 as integer and what the expected output is capital b so what is the ascii value of 72 the ascii sorry what is the ascii value of h the ascii value of h is 72 after adding after adding 20 to the 72 we will get 92 as ascii value but what is the expected output according to the first input logic according to the first inputs logic we are expecting backslash as output why because the as the character according to the ascii value is 90 ascii value is backslash the character according to the ascii value 92 is backslash but what we are getting what we are expecting we are expecting capital b as output how this will happen this will happen we are getting we are expecting only the character inputs character inputs means only the alphabetical inputs whenever the alphabetical value is greater than the last alphabetical character that means either it is a small z or it is a capital z the last alphabetical character is z right so we need to check whether the ascii value after adding integer to the original character ascii value is greater than the ascii values of small z and great capital z if it is greater than small z or capital z if ascii 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 is greater than small z or ascii is greater than capital z then we need to remove 26 characters 26 characters means that is a to z there are only 26 characters in alphabets so 26 characters from the ascii value in the above example the ascii value after adding 20 to the original characters ascii value is 92 after removing 26 characters we will get 92 minus 26 92 minus 92 minus 26 we will get 6 we will get 92 minus 
26 we will get 66 as output bit so we need to find we need to find the character according to the value after subtracting 26 characters from the actual ascii value whenever the ascii value is greater than the ascii value of small z or capital z because the ascii value we need to find only alphabetical characters that's why i'm removing 26 characters so after removing 26 characters we are getting 66 as ascii value so we need to find the character according to the ascii value the ascii value is 66 the character according to the 66 is capital b this is the logic behind behind this second input format let's apply the same logic in programming i'm using java as my programming language you all know that in java the first line is class uh, i'm creating class as vip the sec the next line is public static void main class void main function public static void main of public static void main string string ox then we need to take input from the user if you want to take any input from the user we need scanner class in scanner class we are having different functions to take integer input character input string input float input double input so i am creating object to the scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner of new scanner of system dot in scanner class is available in util package that's why i am importing util package to our program import java dot util dot scanner after that we need to create character input we need to take character input from the user so char ch equal to sc dot next dot char at of char at of zero it will take single character as input and in the next line we need to take integer input int n equal to sc dot next int of after that what we need to do we need ascii value of the input character so for that int i equal to ch it will automatically typecast typecast means conversion of one data type to another data type this is done because the character the size of the character type is one and the size of the integer type is 4 bytes or 8 bytes according to the compiler so the smaller data type is assigned to larger data type that's why no no data loss will be there that's why it is automatically converted from one data type to another data type ch after that we need to store int j equal to we need to add n plus i i means ascii value of the current character and n means what is the value we are adding so j equal to i plus n after that what we are doing we need to check whether the j value is greater than the value j value is greater than small z ascii value or not if it is greater than small z ascii value we need to remove 26 characters from the ascii value from the ascii value of j if it is greater than capital z also we need to remove 26 characters 26 characters means we need to subtract 26 from the j if we need to check if j greater than the ascii value of small z is 122 or j greater than the ascii value of capital z is 90 if any one of these is, is happened then we need to remove 26 
26 from j j equal to j minus 26 after that we need to simply print system dot out dot print of we need character right character ch1 equal to care of care of care of j then simply print ch1 here we are observing that i am care is used before assigning j value to character j value is the j is integer value so the size of the integer value is 4 bytes or 8 bytes according to the compiler we are all know that and the character size is 1 byte so the larger data type is assigned to the lower data types there will be a chance that dot data loss so to avoid the data loss we are manually converting large data type to smaller data types that's why i am using char before j after that i just simply print character so i'm just copying the code i'm opening new file I'm just creating new file then i'm going to paste it here just save the program i'm saving file as wipro dot java Pro java file is already available in my folder so i just replace the old one with new one for that i'm opening command prompt then i'm going to change the directory to c drive then the folder is there in that folder again another folder is there that is called as java collections java collections in java collections the file java the java file is available that is wipro.java for compilation we are using java c just maximize the command prompt and increase the size java c pro dot java here we are observing that there are no errors then in the program wipro java Pro is not recognized as internal or external command okay just check okay the name of the file is also wipro it gets an error oh, sorry we need to give java wipro java wipro will ask for value i'm entering h as input then 20 what we are expecting we are expecting capital b as output it will execute it fine let's check the test case also I'm entering d as input then d we are getting capital m as output but we are expecting small g as output this is because we need to replay whenever the value the ascii value of j is greater than 90 for example if the ascii value is 90 7 it is greater than 90 so we are removing 26 from 97 so j equal to j minus 26 we are getting something that is less than 97 so that is lies between 65 to 90 so that's why we are getting capital m as output to avoid this problem we are using check before doing this operation we are checking to avoid this problem before doing this if condition we are checking whether the expected whether the encountered character is capital character or small character if it is a capital case character that means the ending value the ending capital z ascii value is 90 then if it is a capital character then we need to check if J is greater than 90. So we need to check if of character dot. We need a function called character dot is uppercase 
is uppercase to check whether the given character is capital case letter or small letter. So if it is a capital letter, we need to check the J value is greater than 90 or not. If it is greater than 90, we need to replace, we need to subtract J equal to J minus 26. Similarly, we are going to check. Similarly, we are going to check. It is a small case letter or capital case letter. It is a lower case letter. Lower case letter. It is a lower case letter means the ASCII value of Z is 122. Whenever the J value is greater than 122, we need to remove 26 from j value after completion of these steps we just simply print we just simply print that character so execute the program once here we are observing that there is no errors i think it is executing there is no errors then java vipro I am giving h as input then 20 as integer value we are expecting capital B as output yes, it will execute fine I am executing once again java vipro I am giving small d as input and I am giving p as integer value if you add p to ASCII value of d that is 100 we are getting 103 so 103 means that character according to the ASCII value 103 is G check whether the output is small g or not if it is small g the program is correct else the program is wrong please enter yes we are observing that the character is small g only this means that the program works fine I hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any doubts please comment it below I will definitely solve your doubts. If you like the video, then like or else if you dislike the video, then dislike. This will help you to understand how my teaching skills is. Thank you.